Hi everyone, this tutorial is going to show you the basics of task management in Adobe Workfront, including task entry, um, editing, and tips and tricks. So the quickest and easiest way uh, when you're within a project is to just use the Start Adding Tasks button. That's a preferred way. It just allows you to quickly inline edit add a task, you can search and assign users uh, as you see fit or multiple users. You can add the duration. So if the task should be planned uh, to go across multiple days, you can account for that. And then planned hours would be how much estimated time the task will take. Predecessors will get to shortly, and then you can add your start on date. Uh, I won't go through task constraints on this tutorial, uh, so I'll just do a simple, it's set to start on Friday. So when you click through, you'll see that a one day duration has its start and be due on the same day. The system recognizes this as an 8 a.m. start and a 5 p.m. finish for the same day. So if if you knew the estimated hours for this task was say, you know, eight hours, but someone's not gonna spend their entire day working on that task, you'd wanna spread that across two days. And you can see that the, the due on date will update uh, and account for weekends as well. As you see here, it'll jump for the due on day to be end of day on Monday the 17th. That's a quick and easy way to add a task and assign it. Of course, you can edit from just the main task list view in a project by selecting it and going to edit here. And so you can add any task details that you want, a description. So that would show for the user. And um, you can also assign out from in here and change any other task details that you like and save at the very bottom. You could also right click, open the task in a new tab. If you wanna be able to be within the task, see everything that's happening, you can upload any documentation here uh, that the assigned user might need to do the work. They can also upload completed work to the documents tab. Again, your task details tab is here, so you can, you can always edit and save from the task details tab as well, any of that information. So that is a quick way to add. Um, another main way to add a task is just using the new task tab at the top of the project. This will allow you to quickly add a task. Uh, this view is nice since you can add the description when you're already in here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't up upload documents from this quick view. You can assign. Again, you know, set your duration and set the planned completion date if you like. And so that's another quick way to add a simple task with a description. Uh, adding it that way, again, you would need to go and open it to upload any documents to that individual task. Another way to add tasks in bulk is using the recurring task feature. So when you go to add a new task, if you go to more options, it will open up a wider screen where, again, you can add your title, task three, any type of description that you want to add. And again, uh, I won't go through constraints on this training, but you could change that there if needed. And again, all of the, the same details are available right here. You can assign out. And then the recurrent schedule is where you can make this a recurring task. So say you have a, you know, monthly task, a weekly task, something quarterly, or even daily, you can schedule that in bulk. 
here very easily. So again, if it's daily, the frequency would be every one day. Um, say you have a weekly, weekly task here. Uh, if it's every other week, you could say every two weeks, that would be scheduled. Um, and then you can choose the day of the week. So say you want this every Wednesday, uh, it would start, let's say July 12th. You can end it on a particular date or after a specific number of occurrences. So say, oh, we only have to provide this every week for you know, the next 12 weeks. So you could schedule that way. Again, you can assign out here. And you can add documents when you, when you schedule a recurring task this way as well, if that's applicable. And then you would just hit create task that's at the very bottom. And you'll see that that has been scheduled out every week for 12 weeks. Uh, and you can also bulk select and update the planned hours accordingly. So if you know, oh, it's only going to take this assigned user two hours, you can bulk select. And update the duration type to calculate an assignment. And then change the planned hours to two hours. so that they'll be properly allocated for the amount of work. So you'll notice when you schedule a recurring task, it automatically organizes everything under a parent task here, which is what these are called. Um, and these would be called subtasks. You'll see with the recurring task, which has the circle here, it does assign uh, whoever is assigned to all of the subtasks to that parent. This is okay, and it will show as the parent being due on the final date that the last task in that series is due. So if you don't want things to be confusing on someone's task list uh, at the end of the day, what you can do to remove this user is you'll see if you remove it from the parent task, this task updates the entire series. And so what that's going to do is remove the assignment altogether. So you can easily change in bulk from this recurring parent task, you know, who's assigned. Very quickly. And then if you want to unassign the parent, but leave all of these subtasks assigned, what you can do is bulk select all of the subtasks and outdent them so that they're no longer under the parent. So you can either right click and click outdent or there is an outdent button up here. So either one works. So then you'll see it's no, they're no longer indented under the parent. So you can edit this without it affecting all of the subtasks. So once you remove the assignee from the recurring parent, you can then re-bulk select the children task and indent them so that no one's assigned to the parent and they're only assigned to all the subtasks in that recurring series. And Workfront makes it easy to collapse things uh, using a little carrot here so that if you're scrolling, if you end up having a lot of tasks within a project, uh, a lot of workflows, it makes it easy to kind of bulk collapse and update there. So you can add a parent uh, to, you know, any task that you're manually adding as well. You can just select and you can right click and insert tasks above and below any other tasks within the project. So you can 
manually add parent tasks as well. And once you have that added, you can also drag and drop within the interface very easily. So it makes it easy to reorganize. You'll see the numbers change. And then you can just select what you want to be subtasks and organized under the parent and, and indent those. And then you have things nice and organized within your project. The other feature um, is the option to use predecessors, meaning that you can make a task be dependent on the task before it. So you could say, actually, we can't start this test task number two until this first one is finished. So if that's the case, if, if this task can't really start until this one's completed, you'll just enter the number of the task it's dependent on in the predecessors line. So I would enter a two. And this task is now dependent on this one being completed. And so those are some easy tips and tricks for quickly adding tasks, organizing them, um, and editing. And again, you can edit in bulk at any point by selecting from just the project list view and going to the pencil here to edit and adding details if, if they're all the same.